so just i started my career in delhi only okay so far i am in delhi only earlier i was teaching in some other subjects and one csat introduced in 2011 so i started teaching csat also before that i was teaching statistics and science and technology and then one csat introduced then i fully focused in csat okay. so today is the orientation class so we will see what we can so what's the qualification no name i forgot the name only the qualification so why i'm asking the qualification because the subject each subject having its own character accordingly i will change my way of teaching yeah some people try to ask the doubt based upon the qualification i know them then i will change my way of teaching then i myself will ask them yes please for subject yes yes i understood yes i know you yes and the public administration yes 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 madam ji agriculture i understand yes zoology yes b economics yes oh yes yes sociology yes अच्छा यस is it visible yeah yes please yeah yeah so in csat the total number of questions they will ask 80 questions you have any why marker marker a dusra so each question carry you know already that is 2.5 marks total mark is 200 marks the paper but it's a quality uh, and in okay today orientation class you can copy but when once we started the class whatever i will write it i will share in your share the pdf in with you so ask whatever you want to ask be a good listener and that's what is it was and once we started the topic after we finish each topic you go and compare any institute teaching in india any youtube kids in india any institute material in india any books publishing in india you will, they will never compete with the way we will teach the csa because whatever book publishing in india i will get the sample copy before publishing here okay boss so once so listen properly you can copy okay now you can copy once class started don't write simultaneous okay boss yes so it's a 200 mark paper and it's a qualifying mark <clears throat> yeah yeah just give me 5 minutes i will adapt to the new new system so it's a qualifying paper so how much mark required to qualify 66.67 but it is not easy score 66.67 mark now from 2021 onwards negative mark is that how much negative mark anybody knows that 0.83 marks okay boss now to get this much mark out of 80 questions 27 questions are sufficient to qualify but one problem is there whatever you attempted that may or may not be correct sometimes we will calculate properly while marking in the answer sheet we may mark differently 
So this is the riskiest 27 questions, very risky area. So safer side is 35 to 40 questions out of 80. So your target is this much. 35 to 40 questions. You choose from which area that is up to you based upon where you are strong, where you are weak. Understood this person. And it is a two hours paper. So later on, I'll come to the how to utilize the time and all these things. Understood this person. So in CSAT, the first is reading comprehension, critical reasoning, logical reasoning and analytical ability. Later on, I will come to this. The next part is uh, DMA and the basic minutes. Sir, I am mathematically weak. Or, sir, if I see the number, I will get dengue fever like that. So, can I leave all this area? Can I focus only in this area? Somebody will ask like that. Sir, I am comfortable with, I am from, this, from the school days. I am habitual of reading. So, I can prefer this. I can skip this area. Somebody engineers or other science graduate people. Sir, I am comfortable in aptitude. Can I skip this area? Can we skip this any area or not? First, you have to know this. Listen, can. Before 2011, there is no CSAT. But in GS, around 18 to 25 questions, they asked whatever the syllabus now, now in UPS before 2011. At that time, not a single question from reading comprehension, not a single question from critical reasoning, not a single question from decision making, not a single question from logical reasoning and analytical ability. So they never asked any question before 2011. But then what they asked at that time? They asked from GMA and basic numeracy one. From this area, they asked 18 to 25 questions. At that time, what many students will do, those who are mathematically weak or humanity background people, they will skip this, uh, this entire area, still they qualify. Okay, boss. At that time, from GMA and basic numeracy, here they will ask around 6 to 8 questions, and here they will ask so around 10 to 15 questions from us. What type of questions they asked? They asked, you see here, you can predict the topics at the time. So blood relation, calendar, all these things, you can predict the topics, percentage and all these things. And you can skip the topic also. At that time, before 2011. And questions are not lengthy. Questions are not interlinked with other topics. They are not interlinking with other topics. Straightforward questions. And answers are, that means solutions, they are not a data sufficiency based question. They are not correct or incorrect type questions. Very straightforward questions. Those who prepared for SSC banking level, that is sufficient to qualify at that time. Understood this was. But in 2011, they introduced the CSAT. Not only they introduced it, whatever the marks you are scoring, that is part of your selection. What happened at that time? Many engineers or those who are working in IT sector, they quitted their job in the month of January because aptitude is there. They will come to and take the coaching just here and the current affairs and everything. They will purchase the book. They will quickly revise. Using the CSAT, they will qualify for limit. But many people struggle to qualify in men's examination. And that's what this was. So here, 2011 to 2015, what happened here? Critical reasoning, read, reading comprehension, logical reasoning and analytical ability, and decision making. 
So from decision making, five to eight questions they ask. This is very, very important after you posted also. Situation reaction, how can you react for your particular situations? That type of questions, minimum five to eight questions. Then in logical and analytical ability, what are the topics I will write here? So don't worry. So eight to 10 questions, they will ask the topics like seating arrangement, topics like puzzle, syllogism, like that they will ask from logical. And in reading comprehension, they will ask approximately 20 questions from here. And in critical reasoning, they will ask 5 to 8 questions. That means minimum they will ask 45 to 55 questions belongs to this area. Rest of this. That means GMA and basic numeracy. From this, in GMA, they ask say 8 to 10 questions. And from basic numeracy, they will ask around 10 to 15 questions. Once the CSAT introduced in 2011, all those CAT Institute and Banking Institute, they opened their institute in Delhi because they assumed it is an attitude-based examination. After two, you see here, out of 80 questions, 60% of the question they asked from here. Rest only from here. After three years, everybody shut down. Understood this word? Because you see weightage is here. Are you understood this word? And at that time here, what type of questions they asked from here? Blood relation. You can put the topic. Calendar. Clock. Very straightforward questions. Not questions like nowadays. Next, dice question. Then nonverbal reasoning. Then that will come in basic numeracy. Okay, boss. Then series completion. Counting the figure. How many triangle, how many rectangle, like that of questions. Then they will ask direction-based questions, like that. Very straightforward questions. In basic numeracy, permutation and combination and probability, rarely they will ask one or two questions. Rarely. In number system, they will ask around three to five questions only. Sir, then where they asked questions in 2011 to 15? Traditional topics like percentage, average, profit and loss, time and work, speed, time and distance, like that of questions they ask. At that time also, the questions are very straightforward, not lengthy, not statement-based questions. Okay, but not interlinked with other topics. Okay, but if you know the banking level or, or if you know about other competitive examination level also, like placement examination like that, that is sufficient to qualify at that time. Understood this class? But uh, after 2000, I apologize here. This up to 14. So what happened in 2015? Many, many students are started protesting. They are checking more English area. They are unable to answer the question. They are not unable to, uh, unable to understand the vocabulary of the questions. So 15, what happened? CSAT becomes qualified. What happened at that time? You see here. So this is the 2015 to 2020. If you see the advertisement of UPSC, they will give critical reasoning, reading comprehension, logical reasoning and analytical ability, decision making, interpersonal skill. They will mention up to now all these things. But uh, this decision making and interpersonal skill becomes silent. That means not a single question from 2015. This area, they started asking in ethics and integrity paper in the mains examination. They stopped asking here, but still in recent syllabus now. If you see upcoming year also, if you see read the syllabus, the word decision making interpersonal skill must be there. But they never asked any single question from that. Okay, Pastor. Then where they asked that? From reading comprehension, from critical reasoning, and from logical reasoning and analytical ability, they started asking questions from Around 10 to 15 questions from reading comprehension, critical reasoning, uh, 10 to 15 questions, 
logical reasoning and analytical ability around 5 to 8 questions that means minimum 35 to 40 questions that means here half and gmn basic numeracy half of the questions understood this class that means from basic numeracy and gma they started asking 35 to 40 questions that means equal importance for both the area you cannot uh, focus here you cannot uh, focus here like that and that's what is possible right in in gma the same around 8 to 10 questions there is no changes in that and the topics are like the same blood relation calendar clock and all these topics but in basic numeracy pnc and probability they started asking questions three to five questions then number system they started asking around eight to ten questions at that time and that's what is possible now they they will not allow you easily to qualify if it is even qualifying also and that's what you see here 35 to 40 and that's what here out of 80 here around 40 here around 40 and they ask for traditional topics like percentage, average, ratio, and all the topics they started asking. At that time, they asked for data interpretation also. At that time, 2015 to 20. And that's what this was. But what happened in 2021 onwards? 21 to 2024. So in reading comprehension, critical reasoning, and logical reasoning and analytical level. From this uh, 20 to 25 questions only. Number of questions decreased here. Why? Because you see here, many students are thinking, eh, sir, so half of is there. So I can skip this area, I can focus here. And they started predicting the topics. Every year direction is there at the time. Every year blood relation is there. Every year coding, decoding, series completion is there. They started predicting the topics and they started skipping the topics. That is why in 2024, so they reduced the number of questions from here. From GMA and the basic numeracy, they started asking questions around 45 to 55 questions from finished everybody. Understood. In this industry, now they are young, young generation teachers. They also fail to qualify here. But once he started introducing, understood this part. But you see that in GMA, the same 8 to 10 questions. In comprehension, reading comprehension, around 10 to 12 questions. In critical reasoning, around 10 to 15 questions. Logical and analytical ability, 2 to 3 questions. If you see last this, this 4 years, rarely one question they will ask from seating arrangement, one or two questions from syllogism or conditional syllogism, one question like that from puzzle, like that they will ask. Understood. Questions reduced here, but here 8 to 10 questions, but topics are same, blood relation like that topics. But in basic numeracy, the proportion changed. Number system, the four most important topic. I will re rewrite the order. PNC, probability, and number system. Why I am writing like this? Because every institute will start with the number system, but I will not start the number system first. Because in number system, one of the interpretation is going to be permutation combination. Another uh, one of the interpretation is going to be some of the questions probability you need. And in number system, you need arithmetic progression knowledge also. So I will not teach the number system first. Understood this part. Once I finish the seven to eight class minimum, last year I took 10 classes for PNC. But yeah, first, because I cannot solve the question. I will teach the topic. Whether the question ask or not, we will first teach the topic, then solve the question. Because question is very important than answering the question. Many people, while reading the question, they spend less time in the question, and they spend more time in answering the question. They are doing the reverse approach. Understood this part? So in this next 65, minimum 70 classes like that, I will change you the way you read the question. Question is very, very important. Yes, we have to demolish the question as much as possible. Sir, how can I demolish the question? If you are not having clarity in concept, you cannot understand the question. Question will speak to you. I am having this much information. If you approach me in this way, I will give the quickest answer for you. Understood this? Understand. So, in these three topics alone, 
minimum 18 to 25 questions are there minimum in this three topics are there. but we don't know they, now what students will think sir i will read these three topics along with the time and work and percentage sufficient for qualifying but upsc change the proportion again so you have to ready for any topics then as usual percentage and all these things they will ask you now tell me before 2011 you know what happened 11 to 14 what happened 15 to 20 what happened and 21 to 24 what happened that means you cannot skip any topics you cannot skip any section also last year after csat over the entire industry and youtube also saying yeah, the paper is more difficult it is a cat level i asked them are you taught cat really no then according to whom it is difficult according to teacher according to student who according to whom it is difficulty level difficulty means difficulty in understanding the question difficult to in comprehend the question difficult to approach the question they will always every year you see difficulty level high medium i don't know so far 20 20 plus years teaching i don't know anything about difficulty level the way you demolish the topic every question is same for you are you understood this one somebody is saying the difficulty level is high it is a cat level like that i asked are you taught for cat gmat or agree anything in your lifetime no but they will say like this they so they 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 already prepared a cat or something they will say it is a difficulty level is high understood this was so don't say judge the question difficulty or not difficulty the way you read then the question is easy to understand not easy to understand that's a two type of questions understood this sometimes while seeing the question why people are saying difficulty many students don't know after seeing the question is this question belongs to pnc or probability or number system they don't know that are you understood this was if they don't know that thing itself then how do they know how to approach the questions are you understood this was right now sir why you are repeatedly writing writing then so far you know you, you know there is a difference between reading comprehension and critical reasoning very very important otherwise industry will teach passage industry will teach comprehension including comprehension they will teach critical reasoning because up reading the passage for reading comprehension reading the passage for critical reasoning is a different approach understood that is why i am writing both are separate understood this boss so you cannot skip the top any topics so what are the topics are there listen carefully in gma because why i'm writing gma and basic numeracy first because many people are thinking eh, sir i can manage the paragraph but i am i am afraid or fear in basic numeracy and gm but uh, they know which is more which is more important if you know you don't know that is more important but in passage eh, they just merely attempt the question then rest god will decide because they don't know really while reading the passage what they comprehend while reading newspaper or something they will read it after reading they don't know they wrote or take notes it is assumption inference strengthening or weakening the argument course of action main idea they don't know merely they will take their notes that is why in india many of the current affairs videos are successful in india and those who are making that video they can retain for a long time. You can ask them anytime, they will be able to reply. But those who are watching the video or anything, they will not able to retain long time. Why? Because they are not reading the passage the way, the way they want to read. If you read it, you felt what you read. Then after two to three months also, if anybody asks, you can be able to understand. But many students are wrongly thinking, sir, I can manage a passage, but basic numeracy and GMA, I'm having the fear. But uh, one beauty in GMA and basic numeracy, if you know the concept, uh, you can be able to attempt any type of question. But in paragraph, uh, if you skip one paragraph, one, one, one line, or if you are not understanding meaning of the word, or if you are able to not able to retain what you read in pre previous paragraph, you are unable to answer properly. Because in CSAT, you will get this answer in GMA and basic numeracy. But in passages or reading comprehension or, or critical reasoning, you have to provide it, which is the most best answer. Every, every answers are possible for you. But students don't know, they, they've taken grantedly about reading comprehension, critical reasoning. Understood this? So come to here, GMA, then I will come to the passages and all these things. Don't worry. So in GMA, 
your focus your, most of the yes they are asking question from english they will ask the question in calendar it is not just a calendar you see the youtube kids and everybody 40 second 60 second what is the code and everything? you ask them how to how it is derived they don't know able to answer it and they one way teacher leave that thing next topic it is a clock topic most important next they will ask a regular question from coding decoding next most important topic is series completion including alphabetical series and numerical series the next important topic is nowadays cutting of dice some book will say coloring of dice some book will say cuban cuboid this this topics are compulsory it doesn't mean we have to skip the remaining topics but you have to study this topics also like dice topic what is opposite to two? What is opposite to three? Like that of questions. Because last four years, questions asking from cutting off dice, not from dice here. But 2015 to 20, question asked from here. But 21 to 24, they are asking question from here. Understood this one. Then next topic is Venn diagram. That means a set theory. Last three to four years, rarely question asked from here. But before that, they will ask uh, 2011, sorry, 2015 to 20, they asked some question from here. Whether they are asking question from Venn diagram or not, you must read Venn diagram. Why? Because this is helpful to read syllogism topics. Because while solving the syllogism, one of the method is Venn diagram based method. Understood this boss? The next topic is uh, missing character in the diagram. You heard about this topic like this sometimes they will give diagram like this and they will give this what will come here like that are you remember that are you able to recall it over oh, here the next topic is direction topics that's all about it okay but you have to focus more minimum blood relation one and a half class calendar two and a half class clock three classes coding one classes and series two, uh, two or two and a half classes, cutting of dice two or two and a half classes. And that's what is was. Venn diagram or set theory, minimum two classes, and the dice one, it's one hour classes, missing character one hour class, direction one class. And that's what is was. So focus more here. If you want to skip, you can skip it here. But it is not worthable to skip it. Because now last four years, focus is here. Now again, they shift to here also. Come to basic numbers. In basic numeracy, so you know already everybody P and C probability number system they will focus. The next important topic is percentage and profit and loss. Most of the years they will ask a question from percentage. Most of the years one or two questions from profit and loss. In percentage sometimes five to six question also. Simple interest and compound interest. Since 2011 to 2024, not a single question from simple interest. One year they asked a question last or last year, the relationship between simple and compound interest. So without uh, knowing uh, simple interest, then you cannot understand the compound interest. Understood this was. So for all this, uh, percentage is most important topics. You cannot skip percentage. Without percentage, you can read economy, but you cannot feel the economy. Reading is different, feeling is different. Have you heard about this? Sovereign gold bond scheme? Have you heard about this, boss? What is the interest rate? You know why you are not able to recall immediately? Maybe you study it sometime. Why? Because you are not feeling while you read. Yes? Total silent time, 2.5%. And they will say per annum, here I will teach you, if I give you half yearly, if I give you quarterly, why they are paying you an annually. Below that, they will give you, they will return like this, payable at every six months. Sir, why not six? Why not quarterly? Why not annually? Why six months? 
Understand? That we will give you here. Tell me, is it simple interest or compound interest? If you merely want to qualify, you can read casually. If you want to serve the people, you have to read differently. Understood this part? Because many people are bookish people. Understood? If I ask what is inflation, you are able to say. But while teaching percentage topic, I will tell you inflation is also synonymous to difference. Understood this part? Because always read to teach others. If you are reading to teach others, you never forget. Otherwise, somewhere you read, sir, I am unable to recall. Understood this, boss? So, is it simple or compound? Which gives more return? Compound. What do you prefer? Yes, you are going to purchase a gold bond scheme. What do you prefer? Compound. Understood this, boss? Who is paying interest to you? Who is paying interest to you? On behalf of government, RBI is providing you. Paying interest is expenditure for the government. If they pay you simple interest, less expenditure for them. If they pay you compound interest, more expenditure for them. What they prefer? Simple. What you prefer? What they provide? Are you understood this? Boss? Why not a compound? That all explanation you will get it here. Understood this, boss. But uh, only one question they are asking from here. But no other choice. We have to study this topic. But out of this four topic, your focus must be in percentage and profit and loss. If you are mathematically weak, you can skip this topic also. But I will teach them. Are you understood this, boss? The next most important topic is ratio and proportion and ages. That is very important. This ratio is very, 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 very important. Understood this? Many topics. So can you abbreviate this? Anji, cash, reserved, you are saying the word ratio, understood, but they will express in percentage, understood this boss. So at the time we will see about the ratio, understood. In, in economy, may, many cases you can see the word ratio, what is actual meaning and everything, we will see. Ages also, most of the years they are asking questions from ages. The next topic is, uh, Average, very, very, very important, and allegation and mix. So, are you heard about uh, inflation? Which average you are taking in inflation? Weighted average. In average topic, I will teach you mean, median mode. What is the most suitable for average? Why we are calculating arithmetic mean only? Why not mode? Why not median? We will prove all these things here. Are you understood this? All are understand. So if you are comfortable in percentage ratio and average, then data interpretation is not. Because generally from data interpretation, they will ask a question from percentage ratio and average. Understood this? The next important topic is speed, time, and distance. Most of the years they are asking. And its application topic is train. Its application topic is boat and stream. Its application topic is linear race. Circular race we can see in speed, time, and distance. Out of this, this speed, time, and distance, most of the year they will ask the question. The next important topic is time and work. And application topic is pipes and tanks. Rarely they will ask the question, but we will teach that also. Understood this? The next most important topic is comparison of rank. Every year they are asking question. Minimum two to three, sometimes five to six question also. What is in comparison of rank? A is taller than B and B is taller than C. Like that of questions. Are you understand? You are comparing their rank. A's weight is more than B. Like that also. Are you understand this? This is a very important topic. Why? Many students are unable to comprehend it. Some, every topic is having formula. I will never use the formula. I will never teach by anything like that. We will teach you by logic. I will not teach you by one method because everybody cannot read the question in one way. Yeah, based upon their educational qualification, they will read differently. I will teach you why, why not this interpretation. Understood this, boss? So if you want to uh, 
uh, then basic geometry because some rarely they will ask that and basic algebra they will that's all about it. understood this so you know what are the topics you have to study in gme and you know what are the topics you have to focus in basic numeracy also understood this boss first one month i will not introduce this topics i will introduce you like gme and some basic numeracy topic in and in this one month you know how to ask the question you know how your mind is settled and everything you will discuss and everything once you ready we will jump to pnc why very beginning if i start this topic for some many people they are not in rhythm to listen in 15 to 20 days after 20 days or one month only they are in rhythm they are ready to study but one topic is over are you faced anybody like that after you take the starting the coaching in one month you are here and there enjoying the life once you become serious one serious subject over our topic over now you will think sir i want to attend again understood this boss so that is why i will start with other topics after one month class then we will come to here understood this boss then you will ask the question differently you will take the notes differently in the beginning days the way you take the notes after one month you mature you take the notes then you will be different understood this boss right sir you are saying last one hour sir study 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 gme basic numeracy which level i have to study because gma and basic numeracy same topics in banking ssc same topics in in placement exam also same topics in gmat cat and gree also so which level i have to study you will ask like that that i will so which level we have to prepare see sir sir can i prepare ssc or banking level yes you can prepare you will get some idea but uh, to before 2011 whatever the question asked you can able to answer using this but not nowadays sir can i prepare like a placement examination purchase that tcs uh, other 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 company so can i use their placement questions so can i solve no so can i can i prepare other competitive examination no why the kind of questions they are asking in csat this is not sufficient sir can i prepare all this topic in gmat level or can i prepare cat level can i prepare gre level no why because in ssc banking and here and here some of the topics are calculation based area if you see this for example here they will ask your profit is 17.6791% but in upsc the profit is 5.5% like that because they are not checking your calculation ability since 2011 up to 2024 you see any questions and you see the value they given in the question it is not a calculation based value understood this boss they will give you like this understood so don't prepare ssc banking don't prepare like a placement or other competitive don't prepare for cat or gmat because the demand is different so you have to completely set prepare csat in different way in all the depth and all sub topics also understood this boss other understand getting this boss what happened ah acha ji acha right sir now i know which level i have to prepare tell me source of the preparation so where i can read any topics you will ask like this you will not ask i will ask understood so what what is the source to prepare this so what students will do listen here carefully sir i can solve one take last five year so all the young generation teacher will say just to take the five year understood this boy so you cannot solve only upsc question to understand the topics why because in each topic for example 5 to 7 or minimum 10 sub topics are there out of that upsc may ask you two to three sub topics you may wrongly assuming from that topic that is the only sub topics are there are you understood this boss so solving merely upsc question alone will not give you confidence in each topics 
sir then what i will do sir can i can i purchase sir any c sat manual like nowadays some many people are uh, printing c sat manual sir can i purchase other institute material if you go through c sat manual you can use this for practicing the question and that question is not up to the level of csat understood this and they will not teach you the way classroom teacher will teach you next if you go for other institute class notes or whatever it is understood this boss they will take the question their way of teaching is solving the question understood why i am not a uh, test otherwise like youtuber and everybody i will display the question i can solve but then you will ask sir how do i know i have to solve like this how do i know i cannot attempt like this are you understood this one sir then what i will do can i watch all the youtubers youtube videos or can i see other institute video if you see the youtube video this is helpful for ssc banking like that and if you ask them why why not they will not able to answer it they are one way teacher understood this boss if you, if you ask them they will finish them understood this boss they only know this method if you ask why not like this they finished understood this boss bache ho 40 second without pen and paper don't trust all these kids people if you change the question they finished in to one live question i will say in 2023 one upsc questions from calendar and they asked the word they used the word on but every youtuber and every institute in india they are giving the solution for the meaning of after understood this boss all are understand they interlinked calendar with number system reminder theorem and they used the word on but they answering the question for after understood this boss don't read the question very lightly not only your eyes read the question allow your mind to punch the word understood one word will twist you see this now today you go there just type it upsc question 2023 they all will provide answer of after understood why because the way they read the question understood this boss so you can use all this for your revision purpose but your class notes is very 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 important we are starting on 16 september first class i will finish one and a half class or two class one topic go to the market see any book publishing see any institute workbook also whatever printing never able to compete with us understood this so you just go there daily watch why this dadi wala saying like this we will challenge him so we, you go and see that and you just type in youtube or anything so who is teaching more than what we teach understood this well then only you know how you want to listen serious understood this well now you know which which level you have to prepare you know which source you have to prepare your first preference going to be your class notes then what you will do after this your class homework question that is very very important why because whether you really understand the concept or not whatever i will teach in the class that question i will not ask in home i will not give you in home after this you solve the upsc previous year questions then topic wise test questions that's what this was so in topic wise that means after i finished one topic two tests will be there one is since 2011 up to 2000 24 whatever the upsc question asked the second test is 50 separate question that is not in class that is not in class homework that is not in upsc questions every topic okay then only you know in which topic in which sub topic your accuracy is more your accuracy is not there where you are lacking in concept then you can utilize it. so both topic wise understood this so any doubt so far so you know which is source you know what Uh, which level you have to prepare sir in gsr in gsr any optional we know what to revise and how to revise in csat what to revise sir how to revise you will ask like that so listen carefully so what to revise 
and how to revise because without revision you cannot remember or retain anything yes madam you want to ask me something right away you cannot remember okay boss so sometimes every year uh, i will take uh, sometimes rarely i will take break of 15 to 20 days i will go to badrinath kedarnath kailas mansarovar like that once i come back it will take for me 2 to 3 days to get back the way i will i will teach because gap is there it is not a students it is not teacher for every human being it will take some time to adapt it understood this but so sir, somebody will say sir weekly one time study see sir sir before the examination one month can i study sir 10 days can i study sir january yeah, sir i up to december i will study gs or uh, optional so from january onwards i will start preparing what is cs at are you understand this so then while writing the examination they knows their result already but they will wait for the result they will say i am not qualified in cs they will blame the cs but they will never blame are they really prepared for cs at or not are you understood this yes. sir understood sir what to revise and how to revise is very very important so you have to revise a concept through concept sir how can i re revise through concept after i finished one topic keep some small packet diary or something write the topic name write what are the subheading in the topic many students don't know this question belongs to which sub topic which topic Do you understand? Note down the subtopics and each subtopic how we approach this. That you have to note it down. Yes, yes, yes. So subtopic you have to note it down and how to approach those subtopic that you have to write. Are you understood? Don't ever ever think like that. I will teach like this. P N R C A equal to P N R by I never used like this. Let take this X. I hate the word X. you created x let x be hat don't ever 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 invite the word x understood if you invited the word x you are solving the question manually not logically not analytically understood this boss so don't expect in any more 99% we will never use formula 99% of the question we never invite x because it becomes already x let x let let x be happy don't ever disturb x again and again then what we will do listen come back i will come back again prove practice the question okay boss using previous year questions plus topic wise test from this to we can revise and that's all sir how can i revise it listen carefully which topic question unable to attempt that you have to note it down here which topic questions you attempted and went wrong because if you are doing wrong any question there must be reason understood so you note down that question here you are doing wrong sir which question Uh, takes more time to solve the question that type why why you are taking more time either you have less clarity in concept or you are lack of practice that is why it is a time consuming otherwise why it is time consuming so you note down that here in that small packet diary which questions you attempted by option method why you were mind thinking some question after seeing the question suddenly go to option and solve the question why because you are not able to apply whatever you studied there understood this but which question provoke you to solve by option method that you have to note it down understood this all are understood because there is a valid reason is there why you are unable to attempt sir if i solve the question by procedure it will create a quadratic equation that is why i am solving by option method reason must be there sir otherwise if i solve by a uh, formula method it is time consuming that is why i am solving by option method are you understood this boss so you have to note down that question understood this 
So what to revise and how to revise? Very, very important. Are you understand this one? Understood, please. Understand? Totally silent. Eh? I'm a murdering my people. Ah, right, OIP. <clears throat> While reading the question, okay, boss, if you are seeing the questions, what problem you will face? Just randomly you see one question. What do you will think? Don't say, sir, why I am preparing UPSC. That means by seeing the question, you may face, you are not familiar with that question. Sir, I don't know what is given. Sometimes I get angry who created this question. If, you, if the question first, when you read the question, leave that question. You are opening the newspaper. I am assuming all are reading the newspaper. Tell me what will come in second and third page. City, third, third, four and five. If four and five editorial means I will jump from the building, write your name. Four and five. Because every day you are reading, whether you are eating or not eating, eating, whether you are sleeping or not sleeping, you must read in your circle. Six and seven editorial is there. How many times after seeing the page, are yaar, who wrote like this? This much lengthy also. So sometimes it is not attractive to read. Understand why? Because you are not familiar what the author is writing. Are you understood? Not understand this. Sir, how can I make familiar about the question? You cannot skip any topic. You cannot skip any subtopic. Then only that question will attract you to read first. Leave the solving the question. Otherwise, you see some question, RIR, leave it, text question. Are you understand? So try to familiar about all the topics and try to familiar about all the subtopics also. Understood this, boss? Understand this? Next. Sir, sir it is too lengthy, sir. I need some energy tonic to read the question itself. So many information are there. I am unable to comprehend it. I don't know what is given, what is asked. I read the question, sir, but I don't know what to do. Are you understand this? Why you are facing like that? Because you are having less clarity in concept, lack of practice. Are you understand this, boss? Understand this. Sometimes you will think by seeing the question, sir, that... Questions are interlinked with other topics. Sir, I am not comfortable in one topic. How can I know it is if it is interlinked with other topics? I started my first teaching, first class on 1999. I was teaching one calendar topic many years for CAT, other examination. In up to 2020, I was head weight person. 2021, UPSC asked one question from calendar interlinked with the number system. I finished it. Two days I am crying inside. Understood this, boss? It means UPSC not testing you, you, you student only, teachers also. We are also updated for that, what they are asked. Understood this, boss? So, so we don't, I, I was searching, I have so many books published, many people publishing it is as with me. I never saw that question from any book. Understood this, boss. So, sir, interlink with other topics. I don't know, sir, what to do. Irrespective of interlinking with other topics or not. Irrespective of it is short or lengthy. Irrespective of familiar or not familiar. If you are regularly practicing, if you are regularly revising the concept, then everything will take care of. Understood this, boss. And, sir, question, okay, sir. Now I am seeing, now last three years, I am seeing the answer. I am getting irritated. Whatever I am getting answer that is not in option. Sir, who created this? Option itself will look like a question. Are you face like this? Are you understand? So, some of the answers are, okay, boss. Data sufficiency based uh, answers. Statement one alone sufficient to answer. Statement two alone sufficient to answer. Are you to understand this? Next type of option is which combination of statement sufficient to answer the question. They are asking earlier like this. Now they change it. Using one, three, five statement, we can answer the question. This is how they are changing. Are you understood this, boss? Then they are asking which of the following statement is correct or not. 
last four years, minimum 10 to 12 question options are like this. Are you understood this? Not only in paragraph, if it is paragraph, then okay. But they are asking in basic numeracy in GMA question, and they are asking whether it is cut or not. Are you understood this, boss? Are you understand? Irrespective of whatever the question, lengthy, short, familiar, or whatever the options, everything, the way you read the concept, the way you revise it, the, the way you practice regularly, everything will be fine. Are you understood this, boss? Allah understand. Read like this. Sir, ask me anything, any day, any time. And sir, give me some time, I will revise it. That means you are not ready. Are you understand this, boss? The next thing is uh, speed, time. Next is, uh, so what is the space in the answer sheet? Next is uh, accuracy. Everybody will think without reading the concept, without revising, sir, I am consuming more time. They will say like, because you see here, out of 80 questions, to qualify, we need 35 to 40 questions. Take it 40 questions. So two hours are there, 120 minutes is there. That means sir, we need 40 questions only. That means sir, three minutes is sufficient for any questions. Don't fix the time limit for every question. Some topic, some question, by seeing the question, you can be able to answer the question in fraction of a second. In some topics, it will take some time to solve the question. In some topics, it really takes some time. Don't generalize the time limit for every question. Understood this person? Because some people, very few seconds, they will give the answer. Some people, sir, now only I'm finishing understanding what is given in the question, some person answering the question. Are you understood this person? Don't, in the initial stages, don't compare yourself with others. In the initial stages, are you understand the concept? Are you able to read and understand the question? What is given? What is asked? You know how to approach, how not to approach? Then solve the question. That is very nice. Who is running the race first now is not important. Who is winning the race is very important. Many people I know, they will perform very nice in the class, sir. They will not, they will not qualify in preliminary. Understood this, boss. Allah understand. So, don't generalize the time limit for every question. Understood this, boss? So, in the initial stages, you know what to focus and focus in accuracy. It may take some time in the initial stages. Accuracy is very important. Sir, I am doing very fast, like this. Sir, I studied Vedic math, sir. Sir, like this, like this. Somebody will do it. Uh, like this, like this, they will say, give the answer. But that is wrong. Understand? So, initial days, sir. So, don't, don't give preference to speed or time. Focus in accuracy. Understood. More than sufficient for 35 to 40 questions that to work. Understood. I am not saying uh, after 40, uh, 40 questions, stop writing the test. I am not saying like that. Are you understood this one? The more you have clarity in concept, the more you have revising, then space is not an issue for you. Understand. Half work you've done in the mind, rest wherever calculation, the whatever the space is available, that is sufficient. Understood this one. Allah understand this. Then next question, what student will ask her? Sir, can I first attempt a comprehension? Can I first attempt the max question? This will they will ask. It is not a, uh, it is not how teachers are approaching, who you are is very important. And according to that, you have to decide first you have to write the passages or you have to write the basic numbers. How do you know that thing? They keep on writing the test. So, in, if you attempt one test, attempt the first passage as a critical racing logical, then attempt GMA basic numbers. How many questions attempting? How much accuracy? Another test, you change that reverse, then you yourself we know, you know what to attempt first, what not to attempt first. And if you are attempting any questions, very, very important, immediately mark that answer in the OMR. Many students are, they are taking answer in the question. Last half an hour, 20 minutes before, they will copy. While doing that, they mistakenly mark that in different question. And while, while seeing the question, while reading the question paper, if you see some question, uh, this is taking some time for you. You know, if you pre prepare thoroughly, highlight that question. Understand? This question, I don't know. Highlight that. Otherwise, uh, you will re first reading, then you will come to second reading. You will unnecessarily read the, you already solved the question, you will read again that also. 
Understood this question? Understand? So uh, this much is sufficient for GMA and the basic units. Understood this? Come to passage. Just 15 20 minutes, don't worry. In logical reasoning, seating arrangement, linear and closed. Puzzle topic. Next topic is syllogism, including conditional syllogism. Cause and effect. Next is statement course of action. Nowadays, they are not naming statement course of action. They are say, asking the solutions. What author providing the solutions for the issue? Understood this? Tell me, when you decide one action is said to be a solution or not? Yes, you are reading the newspaper daily, I am assuming. What newspaper will discuss about this issue, this update, this problem and everything, these steps they taken, this action taken. When one action is treated as a solution? Consider my age. Your grandfather and me are classmates. Louder. Whenever other people are speaking, please listen. Sometimes we are not think, thinking in that dimension. So, so far, who were teaching in India for CSAT or CAT or something, I purchased or I joined. I have everybody's class notes. I joined everybody. Irrespective of newcomer or old people. Why? Because sometimes one new point will give me help. For you. And please listen what, what Madam is saying. It's effective. Any other? In this way, you people are, this is a bad habit, this YouTubers, online, current affairs teachers, because they are not training, you yourself read the newspaper. What teacher's role? It is not teaching the topic. They have to groom the student. Teaching is different, grooming is different. Understand? You take any topic, sir, now I'm able to read in this way. That is the work for teacher. But what this YouTuber online, the current affairs people are saying, like this, like this, like this. Why, why not? If they trained the students, you read like this. Why I am not read like this? Why I am reading? Next day, you yourself will read. Tell me, when one action is said to be a solution? If any action completely solve the problem or reduce the severity of the problem, that action is treated as a solution. Understood? When you can provide a solution, Newspaper saying RBI increase the repo rate or changes the repo rate or increase the repo rate, whatever it is. This is the steps or action taken by the RBI. Is it a solution or not? No, I have to say. If the problem is already happened, then only you have to provide the solution. If the problem is going to happen, you cannot provide a solution. Sir, going to happen, sir. Going to happen means uh, certainty, uncertainty. So I am teaching, see, sir. Somebody going to die. Sir, what type of teacher this, this, this teacher is? I never saw like this teacher. Danger person. He is going to die. Definitely die. Yeah, may or may not be. Sir, the way you teach, you know, I, I may get blood from my ears. Are you understood this one? If the problem is going to happen, you cannot provide the solution. If the problem is going to happen, but going to happen definitely, then what you will do? You cannot provide the solution. You have to prevent that will happen. At that time, you have to provide the preventive measure. Sir, the problem is going to happen, but may or may not be. At that time, you have to take the precautionary measure. You have to know this is called, this steps is called a solution, huh? precautionary measure, huh? preventive measure. Huh? This all will help you. Understood this question? Are understood what I am saying? So this, uh, this five topics in logical and analytical. Okay, but if you are comfortable in this, you will get a minimum two to five questions. Sometimes in puzzle alone, 10 questions. Seating arrangement alone, four questions. I'm not talking about maximum limit. I'm talking about the minimum limit. Are you understood this part? Here, if you know the concept, nothing will be there. Are you understood this class? Next lesson, class.
one problem in this industry nowadays people are not differentiating critical reasoning with reading comprehension because that much knowledge they have which is said to be a critical reason which is said to be a reading comprehension understood this boss so in critical reasoning the question will ask about assumption the question will ask about inference the question will ask about argument strengthening or weakening the argument the question will ask about the conclusions in reading comprehension they will ask what is the central idea or main theme of the passage like this what is the tone of the author very 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 important why while reading the question if you take any topper any topper in upsc they are not able to score maximum 50 or 55 or 60 percent of the allotted mark in each questions why upsc having any upper limit no first they don't know what is the real demand of the question the demand of the some of the questions demand is explicitly mentioned in the question but some question it is implied in the question sir can i write the answer in paragraph or in point wise or in table wise that is decided by the tone of the question you cannot decide in what way you have to present the answer you cannot decide question only decide this is very important understood this boss that corollary like this 15 12 to 15 ways they will ask the question in reading comprehension are you understanding sir here also passage here also passage what is the difference between these two you will ask like that reading uh, reading the passage for reading comprehension reading the passage for critical reasoning different approach are you understood this this is very very important everybody just take the paragraph just read like this like this like this. no are you understood this boss so through reading comprehension what upsc testing your ability to comprehend the bigger statement i might use the word now technically premises argument later on we will see are you understood this boss so your ability to comprehend whatever given your ability to understand the meaning what they are arguing your ability to interconnect what you read in previous paragraph that they will check in reading comprehension that means uh, compare to critical reasoning reading comprehension answering is very easy and if the passages are two type of passage short passage and lengthy passage if the passages are lengthy everything is explicitly given you can easily answer the question if the passages are small you have to imply many things are you many things they will not straight straight forwardly given are you understand here you have the ability to understand ability to read ability to interconnect they will check here sir what they will check along with that you have to evaluate and analyze the given information to provide further course of action this is more difficult than this may you see today just go to the type in youtube or anywhere you just see anybody solving one one comprehension you see the answer this cannot be the answer because of this extreme word this can but they never use technical word this is the assumption that is why it is not the answer this is the inference this is weakening the argument they will never able to say because they don't know that they will always see the so see the keyword and eliminate this question okay next question how do i know are you understood this boss that passage may be related to because instead of writing i can say because i am consuming more time the passage is may be related to either science or humanity or business sir i am humanity background if i see the science passage i am planning to hang in the fan sir i am science background if i am seeing the philosophy oriented paragraph it is not motivating me sir it is showing moksha it is showing this the mukti something we, we don't know anything understood this boss so how how one person can familiar in every every subject nobody can familiar in every subject understand so i have to study no because you are going to answer the question from the context point of view you don't need the subject knowledge but but the after seeing the paragraph you need attraction to read it for that news paper is very important are you understood this boss all are understand next so in passage sometimes you will think sir i am i am not familiar with what they are arguing 
after the passage is too complex. Nowadays, you see the passage start from this page, ended in next page. If we see that that much lengthy, I will skip the question. You will say like this. Are you understood? Why the passage is complex? Either it, the passage talks about technical point of view. Ah. Ah. The passage is... What is it? I also forgot. Anything? Yes. The passage is too lengthy. Are you understood this boss? Then only you feel complex. But remember, if the passage is lengthy and they are discussing about reading comprehension question, you are in definitely will give the correct answer. Are you understood? Because every if it is in critical reasoning, the passage having its own structure. Without knowing the structure, you cannot decode the structure. It is not a merely author presenting writing. It. Sir, I don't have any work. I'm writing one passage like this. No, it is having the structure. Without knowing the structure, you cannot decode the structure. Understood. So we will teach you what is the structure of an argument. Without knowing that, then you cannot understand it. Are you understood this person? Any other thing while facing, while seeing the passage, you are thinking something? Not understand. That will come. Vocabulary. Sir, don't, don't know it of going vocabulary or something. This context point of view you have to see. Any other? Confusion. What confusion? Can I take this research paper or not? <laughs> yes. Huh. Because many people reading. But after reading, are you finished reading? Tell me what you read. They are unable to answer. That is why they need another person to say, you read these are the things. Are you understand? If you are, sorry, if you are comfortable in critical reasoning and reading comprehension, you will read the newspaper differently. You will read the GS paper differently. You can understand the question differently. Everybody going to read the GS uh, one subject uh, from the same source more or less. How can you show difference with other people? The way you read it. Are you understood this boss? Somebody may ask, say, sir, can I first read Can I first read passage? Then I can see the question. Then I can see the answer. Somebody will ask like that. Sir, R. Sir, can I go answer question paragraph? Sir, can I, without seeing the passage, yesterday somebody sent me a message. Eh? Sir, leave the passage. Don't at all read the passage. Only eliminate the option. You see why A? Because of the word extreme. Why not B? Because of this word. You see this. Are you understood this, boss? What you have to do? Because the passage is not reading the passage for reading comprehension and reading the passage for critical reasoning is not same. Are you understand? One more thing I forgot. Eh? Oh, sorry. I apologize. Maybe I'm in hangover. Right. Listen carefully. In the same paragraph, reading comprehension question they asked, critical reasoning question they asked. You finished. Last three years, one paragraph, Two to three questions, one question related to reading comprehension, another question related to reading uh, critical reasoning. Finished. Are you understood this, boss? So, what you have to do, what is your approach first? In this, in, in either critical reasoning or reading comprehension, first you have to read the question. Then only you know in what way I have to read the passage. Otherwise, just you read it, any keyword underlined. Anything like that underline, sir, this is like this, then it come to, but that is not asked in the question. Are you understand? First read the question, then read the passage. Then uh, if you come to option, if first option is look like correct, don't take that, read another, everything also. Why? In passage, you have to provide the most suitable answer. Are you understand this? Part? So first your question, then passage, then uh, answer. This is the sequence. Sir, I have to prepare first uh, comprehension or first apply uh, basic numeracy. It depends upon you. Are you understand this? Boss? So that's all about the uh, orientation of this session. So uh, if you want to ask any question, throw the question. You know, nobody saying. Uh, I answered everything. I already died everybody. 
Yes. Ask whatever you want to ask. Yes. Huh? So almost 99% I only going to handle. Because if if other area takes more time to finish it, then I we will ask help from other people. Understood this person? Yes. Any other? Some other faculty also there, I think. So they will assist in that area. Yeah. Why? You don't like my way of teaching in comprehensive? <laughs> okay. Any other thing you want to ask? Yes? Don't hesitate. I'm look like I'm malnutrition. My age is more. <laughs> yes. So you can ask whatever you want to ask. Yes. It depends upon person to person. Understood this part? That's why I told you, you go and see anywhere, any institute, they will not differentiate reading comprehension and critical reasoning. Because the way you read reading comprehension, the way you read critical reasoning, you have to differently read because UP is testing different thing in both the years. Understood? Somebody will say, sir, in the, from my childhood, I am habitual of reading newspaper. I am habitual of reading book. They are convenient with the passages. Up to I finished my college, I never studied newspaper. I never prepared any competitive examination. I'm a professional teacher. I started teaching uh, like that. I started teaching at that time, statistics and science and technology in UPSC at that time. So uh, I never still opened it. What I will say in college, I will open the newspaper last page, which movies are running, where they are running, which class we can, that only I can do. I understood this boss. So some people are there, they always, they will go to library, take the book, they will read. Understood? That type of people, they will comfortable in what? Comprehension and critical risk. Understood this was? So that depends upon how you are. Don't generalize the strategy commonly because first you realize who you are, where is your strong, where is your group. Accordingly, you can change the strategy because everybody's strategy will not work with everybody. Are you understood this boss? Uh, so don't apply others, other strategy with you. Realize who you are. Understood this boss? Yes, I know many people, my age group of teachers, we are four or five people are there. Rest, all are young generation people. We know how people are qualified at that time and now how they are. People are qualified. Understood this? So, and so one more thing I forgot. Sir, can I prepare daily CSA? Can I prepare weekly one time? You will ask like that? Understand? Every, whatever you will do, do daily. Sir, I am weak, sir. Spend daily half an hour to one hour, whichever boring time for you. Because the way I will murder each topic, I will de I will demolish each topic. Okay, boss. The way I will murder your work. How, if you are any subject, if you are going to home, you have less time to revise what I what we taught in the class. Means you listen to the class properly. Teacher demolish the topic properly. Otherwise, if you take more time to revise what I taught, or you need other source to, to understand what what we teaching. That means I am not teaching properly. That means you are not listening to the class properly. Are you under, we will demolish a topic without mercy. Topic has to cry before Swaminathan. Sir, leave me alone. I will say I will murder that. Understood that. So daily half an hour to one hour and write the test, write the homework, spend a day. And after reading, try to visualize what you read. Many people are reading daily, newspaper reading. One issue reading, then go to next issue. Then if I ask after one day, they will not remember. So after you finish the reading, Try to visualize, uh, why, why not, like this, like this. That means if you are visualizing, you are making the imprint to your subconscious mind. It, you can remember any time. After you take 10 Kingfisher also, if I ask you, tell me the order of I taught in clock topic or PNC, you can able to, it is not PNC, what India teach. I will teach you PNC differently. Understood this, boss? So that order you will remember. Understood this, boss? Any other thing you tell me? Yes. Anything they messaged in the bus? Bus? Ah, yes. So any other thing you want to ask me? Yes. Yes. After I finished one topic, then I will give you time, revise the topic, ask whatever you have the doubt. You are ready? I will give you the, then homework questions, then UPSC question first test, then I will give the 50 question test. Getting this? Yes, any other boss? Any other anybody want to ask? Anybody? Yes, please. Uh, Monday to Friday or if it is, uh, I can tell you openly, this is the first time in my life I am, uh, earlier I was teaching in one institute of 15 years like that. Because of something I, I just started here, okay boss. 
So uh, last year it took me 70 plus classes because the students are very weak. They always asking why, why not? Are you understand this one? So I have to respond. Sir, I am thinking in this way, why I am wrong, where I am wrong. I have to respond that. So it took me 70 classes like that. So in the in the initial days, whoever said this as go slow, the same people end will they are saying, sir, you are going slow, please increase the speed. Whenever big topic comes, that big topic only very important. So I will try to finish it uh, taking Monday to Friday. If possible, if if it is required, Saturday we can take it if possible. Otherwise, every day instead of that two hours, we can take 15 to 20 minutes extra uh, because the question will be more. They, otherwise, uh, uh, what, what the purpose of joining the class is waste. That means I'm cheating you. Understood this one. You have to know why, why. Monday to Friday from 16th to September onwards. Yeah. Yes. Uh, duration is minimum 3.5 months to 4 months. Okay, boss. How? What? First, uh, finish the syllabus. Write the test, everything. Because everybody will ask now. But after 20 days, many people will jump from the building. And that's all this one. Yes, please wait for that. Yes. 2.30 to 4.30. Yes. Any other? Any other? No? So if you have any doubt on all this, you can uh, call con contact office. Or you can uh, contact me also sometimes. But you contact the office, that is a better side. Okay, boss? Enjoy the remaining. Thank you, boss.